Well, the Georgia Junior National Livestock Show brings 4-H and FFA students from around the state to Perry to compete and show off all the hard work it took to raise their livestock projects. Once again, Georgia Farm Bureau was proud to be part of the show and understands the important lessons that are learned from livestock projects. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has that report. At the Agri Center in Perry, 4-H and FFA students were out in large numbers to compete in the Georgia Junior National Livestock Show. We'll have you know, 2,000 people here. Uh, there was 1,400 hogs that showed up in the market hog show, um, seven or 800 steers, two or 300, excuse me, heifers, two or 300 steers. Uh, we had our breeding does show for the first time here, 150 or so showed up. So we had about 2,000 people here. Livestock projects are extremely good life lessons for students and gives them an opportunity to not only learn how to care for an animal, but also how to learn about the ag industry as well. They may not all go grow up to be producers, but they're gonna, all gonna be consumers. And if they learn about the value of animal agriculture and the reality uh, to be able to dispel any myths or bad information about what it means to grow food animals, that's a great thing. That's a great thing for our future and for this industry. Georgia Farm Bureau is proud to be a part of the show and president of the Georgia Farm Bureau, Gerald Long, handed each grand champion their first place check. I think it's just unbelievable the responsibility and the dedication that these young people has to have in order to show these animals because they have to work with them. Uh, a lot of cases they'll be purchasing calves or something now for next year this time. So it's a almost a 365 day a, a year job for them to be with their animals, to learn the personalities of the animals, to groom them, to feed them, and that leads into responsibility. In the breeding heifer competition, Morgan McDaniel of Jackson County 4-H took home first prize. She has spent countless hours preparing for this day and her livestock project really caught the judge's eye. Um, she's stout, she's um, sound, she can move good, she has a clean front end. Winning an event like this cannot be done without tremendous support from family. I thank them for all the help they gave me with showing cows for the past three years. Over in the New South Arena, Abby Moore of Perry FFA received her grand champion check from Georgia Farm Bureau. She also wanted to thank her family for the support. They they go out to the farm with me every day and help me walk my pig and feed it and everything. So without them, I couldn't have done this. At the commercial dairy heifer show, the competition was very strong, but there could only be one grand champion. And that was Brent Bohannon of Coweta County 4-H, who really understands what the judges are looking for in a good commercial dairy heifer. The, the depth of rib and maybe the straightness and the cleanness of her of her back. Showing this animal is not always easy though. She wants to go, she wants to go ahead of me and she wants to keep on moving. She doesn't want to stop. And what is his favorite part of showing livestock? Getting to go different places and see other people. Over at the Market Steer Show, Luke Mobley of Colquitt County 4-H was handed a $5,000 check from Georgia Farm Bureau for his winning steer. Luke really understands how to get his project ready for competition. Uh, you have to feed them, you have to wash them, and you, you have to take care of them. Most of all, you have to love them. The crowd at the market guilt competition saw Britton Herndon of Toombs County 4-H win among many other competitors. He has a very simple strategy for raising a good animal. You just buy them and then walk them a lot. <laughs> It works out. And finally, Jarrett Baldwin of Hart County 4-H took home the grand champion prize in the Breeding U competition at his last event before he heads off to college. A lot of hard work. Um, I'd like to thank my family. Um, if it wasn't for them, I certainly would not be in this ring today or have the success I did. Um, it's the friends and uh, family and the values you learn. Uh, the feed and hard work, the breeder of the animal, and it's just a great way for me to end my career. Congratulations to all of the grand champions and all of the students who competed. The future of Georgia agriculture looks bright. Reporting from Perry, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.